Okay, let's take a look at the tow vehicle we got for the channel. It's a 2014 Ford F-150 4x4 with the 5 liter V8. It is the XLT model. So let's take a look under the hood, see what we got, see what we're working with here. Alright, that's yeah, one dirty engine compartment. However, I am told it runs real well. Unfortunately, the battery is real dead and it goes on the charger and it's good for one start. So we're going to be replacing that battery today. Get this thing running. I did check the oil. It's actually nice and clean and full. But that's as far as I got because that's the first thing I like to do with any vehicle I'm driving. If it's not mine and I've not driven it, I like to check the oil. I don't care who says it's okay. I check it. Unless it's a rental car, then I don't care. Um, let's see what we got here. Brake fluid, full. Water, empty. Huh. We'll probably do a radiator flush, so for now I will put... Um, just some distilled water in there and not worry about that for right now because it's summertime and it's hot and there's probably some coolant in there i would hope but we're going to get a battery in this thing and uh get her going and then get her cleaned up somebody try i'm guessing i'm guessing here that somebody tried power washing the underside here and it destroyed this cover, this uh, insulator. So we'll go to pick apart and see if we can find a new insulator, a little insulation for under the hood, or maybe order one online if we can't find one. They're cheap enough, I'm sure. Uh, who am I kidding? Everything's expensive these days. It doesn't matter what it is. Everything is getting darn expensive. Okay. Let's take a look on the inside, see what we're working with. The body itself looks really good on this side. Let's take a look at the tires. All-terrain, TA, KO2, front tires. Pretty decent tread, not bad. Uh, they can go on for a while. I did look on the inside because that's where the date stamp is and they are Five years old back tires well these apparently were on the front they're cupped pretty bad um, far less tread on the inside aspect than on the outside so I'm thinking I am going to get a couple of rear tires for it especially if I'm hauling a trailer I'm not gonna take chances with that that looks like it's probably the original spare that's a pretty decent tire too I like that Tires are expensive. These things are about 300 bucks a piece. Over 300 mounted and balanced. Crazy, absolutely crazy. So we have an easy fuel system. E85 is okay. No cap required. You just drop it in there. Huh. How do you keep the bugs and small children out if you have no cap? That's what I wanna know. Okay, presses down pretty easy. Hmm. Okay, well, that's the way they built it. Let's evaluate the inside now. This has a keypad. The book says, because I read the book last night a little bit, and the book says that there is a code assigned to each vehicle from the factory, and it's on the card that's on in the uh, binder for the books. Nope, no, it's not. Well, we have to go to the dealer and ask them nicely if they will provide that code to me once I get it registered. And hopefully do that without a $200 service charge. <laughs> Let's see what we can do. We'll ask real nice. So here we go at first glance. Yeah, it does smell pretty good. It does smell pretty good. Seats are stained. Norm I would call that normal wear and tear for a truck um, that's, what, eight years old? Not bad. We've got keys, 
keys from the auction. And these would be for the toolbox that's in the back. Yep. So let's climb up on in here. Oh, there's no, oh, shoot handles. Okay, cool. Let's see what we can do. Well, we do have a steering wheel cover. I wonder if that means the steering wheel's shot or sticky as heck. We might take that off and take a look. We can't start it up, so the power steering obviously is not gonna work. We got lots of gauges. Oil pressure gauge, temperature, fuel, and transmission temp. That's good, that's good, especially when you're towing. Tachometer, speedometer, nice, nice, very nice. Trailer brake control, four wheel drive control, tiny infotainment center there. Your traction control off in case you wanted to do burnouts, I guess. That's not something we'll be doing with this. And this is for your radio. Ah, it's got navigation too, that's right. It probably does have navigation. And then your climate control. It's got the sink system in it. A very dirty tray here. You've got your line in and your USB. A little cubby hole, 12 volt outlet. Very cool. It does smell pretty good in here. Let's see what we got. Did we get any sunglasses? Nope, nope, that's empty. We got two of them. Oh, that one's empty. Very good. I'm just checking up here because just in case somebody put the card with the code up here, we can save ourselves a trip to the dealership. Anyway, a little tissue here to get the condensation from the drinks, I guess. Oh, and a little bit of money. I got 10 cents back. How cool is that? Hmm? Pretty dirty. Pretty dirty. Oh, there's another penny. 11 cents back on my deal. I'll put that in there. There's not too bad inside here. But the outside, it's just a little bit dirty. Uh, somebody doing some work was using this truck. Um, I think that seat there is probably the worst. But we're going to fix that. It's got some really nice floor mats. Really nice floor mats. I'm impressed with this. And this is something we need here where we are. Because when it rains, it just turns to mud. And these will protect the carpet. Which I'm all about protecting the carpet. And there's no original floor mat underneath on this side. That's all right, because this is the one I really prefer. Cool. All right, parking brake. Yep, that works. And what is this? So oh, this is the dimmer and your lights. And we do have an auto mode. I like the auto mode. And what is this? This looks like it might be for fog lights. I'll have to work on that. That doesn't go there. Ah, pull out. I get it. All right, very good. Pull it out and you got your fog lights. Okay. Ah, it does smell very good in here. I don't see any. Ah, there might be. Might have had a couple of little Christmas trees on there. I don't know. Could be. What have we got here? This would be the for the light. No? What is that? I don't know. What is this button for? Huh? This would turn on the light. But what's this one for? That doesn't come down. Oh, you know what that's for? That's for the rear window. It's got a sliding rear window. Yes, indeed. I bet that sucker works too. We're gonna put a battery in and find out. All right, let's see what's going on in the back seat. This sucker's high, I wonder if it's been lifted. I don't know. I don't know, we'll have to take a look. Okay, looks like we have some 
stock floor mats along with these really nice floor mats. These are from Husky. They're the weather beaters. And the stock floor mat is underneath it. Like I said before, these, these are really gonna save the day because that will collect the mud and the snow during the winter. Oh, what do we have here? A scent block. Okay, that explains things. That explains things. That's why it smells good. Oh yeah, that's a cherry scent block. We'll just we'll just leave that right right there. Yep, yep. Very good. Now, does this seat fold forward? I'm guessing no. There's really no room back there at all. Um, let's see what's underneath the seat. Because I do bet that this this one folds up. Yes, indeed it does. Okay. Let's take our scent block. Fold this up real quick. All right. We have a jack handle. Let's see. Do we have a jack for this? We'll find that out soon, I'm sure. There's a little cubby there for stuff. Some dog hairs. Yeah, somebody's had a pet in here. Oh, and there's the handle for opening it up. All right. Let's, let's leave our scent block there. That, that's going to be just fine. We'll take the trash out. Speakers. Speaker covers are a bit dirty. No more coins in there. Yeah, she's pretty dirty. Not the worst I've ever seen, that's for sure. But we will clean her up and go from there. After we put a battery in, because we, we've definitely got to put a battery in. And there is our sliding window. That is so cool. So cool. Let's see, what else do we need to look at? Nice mirrors with turn signals on them. Are these telescoping? Um, maybe, maybe they are. Maybe you guys can drop me a comment down below and let me know if these are telescoping or not. Oh, no, no, they just fold. They just fold. Okay. That's fine. Let's go around to the other side. See, I did see a video on this vehicle. And I did put a bid on it. And another bid. And another bid. And eventually I won it. But that's another story in itself. Not a real good one. It was definitely a learning experience. Um, I really wanted the vehicle, so I stuck with it, but we'll go over all that later or sooner. Well, now, okay, here you go. You'd smell good too if you had 427 little trees in your pocket. Somebody does like the black ice. I wonder if farmers did that because that's who had the vehicle. It was a theft recovery. But it looks like, according to the mileage, um, when you do a, a VIN check, a record check, it, it, if it might have been stolen and parked somewhere. And insurance company, I'm just guessing, insurance company paid out on it and then it was found, it was recovered. And it, since it had already been paid, the owner probably didn't want it back. They didn't want to buy it back. It's probably already replaced it. So insurance company put it up for sale. Did come with a couple of extra keys. And it's got keys for the box in the back hanging on there. I don't know if I said that before or not. 12 volt outlet, airbag. Love box with a spare fuse. That's interesting. I wonder what we're putting fuses in. Well, we'll find out. We'll find out once we get a battery. Let's go to the back. We can look at the right side tires. Right side front tire. Uh, I'm not so sure. It's about the same as the left side. Again, they're six years old. Five or six years old. They probably should be replaced. 
I probably won't replace them this year because I'm probably not towing with it this year. But I will be using this as my daily. And you know what? I am going to be taking a road trip with it. So maybe I will replace them all. I ah, have to think about that. One's on the back again. The outside is cupped. The middle is not looking too bad. And the inside is cupped and worn. So at least somebody's been rotating the tires. I mean, somebody has taken good care of it. It's been, it's had a fresh oil change. I'll pull the air cleaner off and see um, if we need to replace that filter. I'm going to do a radiator flush since it's low anyway. And whatever other maintenance we can do. Oh, in-cabin air filter. It's probably full of that cherry block. So we'll change that out. So let's talk about... Right now, let's talk about cleaning. Now, I could send this thing to the spa to have it cleaned and spend $300. Or, a few hours, a little elbow grease, and a couple of tools, and we're going to take care of it ourselves. And then, the tools we have available for the next 10 cars. So the more cars you do, the less money it costs per car. And that 300 bucks you spent, put it into stuff that you can do it yourself with. Because after the first couple cars, it's paid for itself. And then you can do many more after that. It just doesn't make sense to me to pay somebody $300 to wash your car. It just doesn't. They may do a good job, but guess what? So do I. It just takes a little time. Very cool. We have a toolbox. I did jump in there and take a look. There's there's no presents in there for us. Oh well, but that's okay. That's a nice Atwoods toolbox with keys. Excellent, excellent. That's gonna come in handy. That's gonna have my toe balls, my straps, my toe straps, anything else I need to carry and it's locked up and this thing will probably either be home or on the road so I'm not going to be worried about people getting into it excellent all right folks well let's put a battery in her and when we come back she'll be charged and ready to start thanks for watching guys please do like and subscribe if you find any value in this give me a thumbs up thumbs down if you think that uh, there's something better I can do which there's always something better I can do. And then, of course, drop me a comment if you uh, have experience with these vehicles and would like to share some of their details with me. I'm certainly willing to uh, take a look at any of those comments. I will read them all, trust me. All right, we'll be back shortly. All right, fellas, check it out new electric new electric for the truck we got a super start with the go handle of course always always and well most of the time when you have the opportunity and you're changing out a battery clean the terminals clean the contacts dirty contacts no good clean contacts good so there you go we got the battery in. Let's see if we can get this looking pretty. Maybe not. All right, that protects it. Very good. We got our... All right, guys, it's about 100 degrees out here right now and messing around inside and outside and whatnot. I think my phone shut down and I lost all of the video from the cold start and the walk around after the cold start. So, well, the cold start's already done and we're going to do this little checking out of the engine to see how it sounds. Sounds really good to me. No unusual noises. Brand new super start with the go handle with clean terminals there we go dirty we need to fix that 
I've already checked the oil and did that before starting anything. I always do that. Well, most of the time. Let's listen to the exhaust. Very good, no obvious misses. We need to get the stickers and writing off the windows. This came with it. It's a light. Don't know what it's for. Maybe it was off another vehicle and they just tossed it in the back of this one. I don't know. But I'm going to hang on to it in case I see a spot that should have a light and doesn't. So let's check this out. I lost all the suspension video, so... Heat is a killer out here on these devices. So, I want you guys to tell me. That looks like it's got a little bit of a lift there. It's got a little pad right underneath the springs, about an inch and a half. Now, is that just a, a stock item for stock ride height? Is that a little extra height for the 4x4 that comes stock? I don't know. I've never had one. I've never looked at one. Uh, up until a couple days ago so you guys drop me a comment down below let me know if that pad that's on the spring uh, the, where it's bolted to the uh, rear end housing is that a lift is that stock is that just something they put on for the 4x4 I don't know but you guys let me know drop a comment down below I appreciate the help to be quite honest I've ordered rear shocks for it. Let's see what we got under here. Well, it looks all stock to me. But if it's not, you guys can let me know. We have some nice chrome tow hooks, some really clear lenses on the fog lenses and the headlights are in not bad shape at all i think this was a really good score guys really good score so it looks like maybe this has been resprayed and it looks like maybe there was something that was supposed to go here i don't know i'll go online check some photos see if there's something missing a little piece of trim or something like that but it's missing from both sides so I'll check it out, see what we got, see if we need to buy something to put on there. Not a necessity, doesn't go faster with it. But I don't know if I mentioned in the video that was lost or not, I'm going to be asking Holly for some help with cold air intake and a true dual exhaust, possibly just a cat back because a couple of people that have had these have told me it makes a huge difference. Just as something as simple as letting it breathe makes a huge difference. So we're going to do that because we're going to be towing. It comes 360 horsepower stock and of course it's got 100,000 miles on it. And I don't know if that's wheel horsepower or engine horsepower. Probably engine horsepower so it's probably 300 at the wheel. Well, that's 300. That's a lot of power. And if we can bump that up 20, that's even better. And it sounds good. So that's what we're going to do. That's what we're going to do. And we are going to end this video here. I love the turn signals in the, in the rear view mirrors or in the side mirrors. That's pretty cool. All right, guys, I appreciate you watching. Thanks a lot. Please like and subscribe. Give me a thumbs up. Drop me a comment below. Any of that helps. It really does. Just getting the channel started. Just need to get some followers, get some shares, and we'll be on our way. I appreciate you guys. Thank you so much, and have a great day.